Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. <clears throat> we are here in the spooky prison of many horrors, a place that I'm not having fun with, because it's spooky, like I just pretty much said right there. And uh, I also don't remember the controls very well, because it's been a very long time since I played this, which I don't know if you will even be aware of at the time of your watching this video because if everything goes well then you might not even notice that there's any pause in the uploads or anything I don't know barrel contains no oil okay and uh... yeah we've got plenty of oil yeah it's been literally like two weeks since I last played this game. I don't even remember how to put up my, uh... Oh, F. That's right. F puts up the thing. Okay. Some nice wind just came out of the... Where's that noise? Okay. Sound like somebody was walking. Okay. Close that behind us. Oh, hey, look at that. Nice of him to pop up right now. Well, I mean, there's <laughs> there's no real good place to hide while we're here. Slight headache. Yeah, we're still good. Ah. <sighs> That's right, we can lean, too. That's a thing. Oh, is that a chest? Cool. Oh, he just went down there. I saw him. That's not a chest, that's a bucket. For, like, pissing in. I presume. Okay, the music is still going. Which means he's still active. I have to assume that's what it means. Hmm. Huh. I don't see him though. Uh oh. And lo and behold, nothing was fine at all. So... Oh, don't be coming after me, dude. Got a bed in the way. Prison, northern block. How are we going to fit through there? We're a full-grown man. The hole was only wide enough for a child. Alright, but... That's where we're supposed to go, but there is still one other area. No mementos available. Okay. There's still one other place we haven't been to yet. And I don't know. It might be worth it. So let's take a peek at because we still have to go down there to the left. Haven't been down here yet. Robust padlock that is in good shape. Oh, there's another monster down there. Great. Oh, no. No, you don't. I'm out of here. We've been down there. We, we saw what was down there. Now we're out. The hole is too narrow to... Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I just said it, too. Just said it. Is there a tool in here or something I can bash it open with? Am I supposed to... 
What's my items like? Got a hammer and chip. Maybe this. Awesome. Sweet. Prison Northern Block. Moving that orb was like pushing a star in the night sky. It wasn't supposed to happen. The shadow isn't some vengeful spirit. It is the universe catching up with itself. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, where am I? Whoa. Okay, I came down there. We're going down this way. Got it. How much is my oil? You could probably put some in there. That'd be helpful. That'd be good. That'd be nice for it. Oh. Okay. And that's a dead end. Cool. Alright. Very cool. What's with the tunnels? Why... Why'd they build tunnel in the other direction anyway? Just throw those out here. It's gonna make tons of noise for all those monsters to come get me. Fantastic. Alright, we don't need this on right now. What's it say? Storage? And... kitchen. Okay. Um, well, there's a door right there. It won't budge. Oh, and that's the door we saw earlier. Okay. Cool. So, kitchen or storage? The monster went from the right to the left, so let's go to kitchen. Let's walk slowly, because I don't want to have a repeat of what happened last time. Yo, this is some cool stuff. Alright, let's read the note then. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening, and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Hmm. Voice acting maybe isn't the best always. <laughs> the way he said, they are dead because of me. Ah, uh, seemed, uh, seemed kind of funny, that's all. Ooh, can we pick up the individual pieces of broken plate? No, we cannot. We can pick up the full plate. I guess we have no interest in, in lesser plates. Oh, well. Ah, well. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Surprisingly little going on here. Though, uh... As usual, we gotta... <laughs> yeah, we gotta do this. Gotta make up our little fort. For hiding. Because if something comes and spooks us... There's really no better way to not be spooked... Than to hide in your box fort. And besides, I'm not particularly great at this game, so I don't know if there's some other better strategy that maybe I'm missing. I highly doubt it. No, hold, hold this. Whatever, fine. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Ooh, tinder boxes. Plenty of them. 14 is what we're at. Good, good, good. What is this thing? Acid or something? Uh, we'll look at it in a second. It's probably something important. Laudanum. Nice. For healing the wounds that we haven't been getting. Hey, I ain't complaining. That's a good thing. Alright, what is this? Oh, it's some sort of acid. Of course. And I touched it like a dumbass. Am I hurt now? If you cut some bruises, that's eh, the same as I was before. Crystal clear sanity. Oh, that's surprising. I thought I'd be lower on sanity, but okay. Anyway, what's the memento say? There's a barrel filled with acid in the kitchen. 
great. Yeah, descriptive. All right, cool. All right, and uh, can't do anything with the fire unless. No, okay. Thought maybe we could interact with the pot. Maybe we could put something in it. Cook us up a stew. Our dude must be getting hungry by now. Okay. Sure. Well. Nothing to do but sit and wait. Yep. Break down the door all you like. I'm just gonna sit here. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's walking past the boxes. Nope, he's walking back the other way. Cool. I know that uh, looking at monsters makes them more aware of your presence. I have to wonder what counts as looking at a monster. Do we have to look at their face? Or do we just have to look at like the majority of their body? Does looking at them from far away count, or do they have to be relatively close? Like through just there a second ago I glanced at his leg while he was walking past the boxes because I could see it through the crack between the wall and the box. Does that count? We technically we technically saw him, but we didn't like it's not like we got a good look at him. Speaking of which, the music is still going. Or it was. Okay. Cool. Safe to go, I guess. Oh boy. Of course, we can't take a knife or anything to defend ourselves. That would be just, just unrealistic, wouldn't it? All right. I don't suppose he opened up this door for us. Nope. Okay. All right. How much oil do I have left? Uh, decent enough. It isn't really anywhere else to go, too. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I guess as long as we have that one good hiding place. It doesn't matter, but still. Area Celis 3? Hmm. Cell Area 3. Okay, cool. Kitchen. Storage. Alright, let's just keep following the signs then. Okay. And storage again. Okay. He's not following me. Of course, my sanity's dropping quite a lot because of uh, those jerks. Alright. Another tinderbox and a note. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence, 
As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Huh. Yeah. Just in time for his evil plans to start. It's probably what he means. Alright. Fuck. This isn't a good hiding spot at all. I can't even pick up the chair to defend myself. I'll have to just hope he ignores me. <laughs> Honestly, this isn't even that scary. Like, I mean, like I said earlier, when I first did that other portion of the game, when you're going through the cellar filled with water and the invisible monster, like, you know, just having, like, a scary monster that's relatively easy to stay hidden from that's kind of basic. It's not all that super scary. The setting is really nice. I really like the setting. I really like the, uh, the atmosphere built up by it. And everything. And I like the, uh, you know, from what little glimpses I've gotten of the monster designs. They're, they're nice and everything. They are scary and stuff. But, I mean, it's not like I have all that many options. I see a monster, music starts pounding, run away, find a dark corner to hide in where I'm out of their line of sight. And then just wait until they leave. And the music stops to let me know that they left. So, okay, is there anything in here? And I wonder if that is... I wonder if that's a dead end, or if that leads to the other hallway. Nope, dead end. With oil. Cool. Oh, and a tinderbox. Almost missed that. Very nice. Very good indeed. Alright, anything else in the corners that I might want to pick up? No? Okay. Well, it seems that way appears to be that this way is progression. Cell area four? Uh, maybe not. Huh. I'm honestly not sure. Alright, well. Never know till we try find out. Alright, there you go. Close the door, open that up, get some oil and tinder boxes. They're just like throwing oil and tinder boxes at us, aren't they? Again, construct a hiding spot. It's our only recourse. Our only defense against the darkness. Oh, jeez, that just reminded me that, uh, I turn, uh, What's it called? Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem? That GameCube game? I just remembered that existed. I should be playing that instead. Ha <laughs> ha. No, not really. I mean, I can't play that on my channel because it's a GameCube game. And I don't have any way of recording GameCube games. And this is a PC game. Which I can record. Because I have a computer. And, uh bottle that looks designed for uh, picking up acid. Cool. Anything else in the room? Any valuables I might want? No? Okay. Picked up a glass jar. Anything in a spawn? Any monsters? Any monsters? Alright. Glass jar. An empty glass container. Descriptive. Thanks, game. Alright. Okay. Well... I mean, I know we're probably going to get attacked by something because that's uh, the pattern the game's developing. Pick up important items. It's only a matter of time before something attacks you. Yep. Right down there. I wonder if closing the doors is a bad thing. Because I know the... Uh, the door doesn't actually stop them. It just slows them down. So if you're in like a... If you're in a sequence where you have to run away from a monster and there's just no place to hide, then closing the door would be a 
you know, advantageous because it would slow the monster down. The monster has to spend time beating on the door to destroy it. But in terms of hiding, it doesn't seem to actually matter because all it does is slow him down. It doesn't stop him from getting into the room. And also, uh, it makes noise when it closes. And I don't know if that actually matters. I know that your character makes more noise as you run. And so that is, uh... Let me guess, it's also locked. Yep. The gate is locked and the padlock is in excellent condition. Got it. Yeah, I know your character makes more noise if you're running than they do walking. Just close those, we don't need them. No reason to bother with them. Okay. Where was the, uh... I don't remember where the... Oh, it was at the kitchen, that's right. Okay. And where was the kitchen? Back this way, I think. Oh, there's a noise. Noise means I don't want to go that way. <laughs> There's the kitchen. Right, the dead end. With no hiding places. But yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm trying to finish the thought and I'm doing a terrible job of it. Your character makes more noise when you run than when you're walking, and you make even less noise when you're crouching and walking. And so I wonder... Since that can tip off the monsters, I wonder if closing the door, since that creates noise, if that can also tip off monsters. Yeah, sorry, I get distracted easily. But uh, besides the point, we're going to mix... Well, not mix. We're going to pick up... Oh, shit, are you kidding me? Right now? Oh, come on, we just, we just went through this like two times, man. Just leave me alone. I hope he didn't see me. My only... That was really dumb, though. My only tip-off that he existed was the fact that the game's music started playing. Usually the monster makes a loud noise when they appear. That's annoying. I would have preferred a, a more natural kind of uh, warning to their presence. Because having the music kick up and that being the the warning, it's kind of, uh, you know, it goes against the immersion of the game, but whatever. What I was going to say was that since I'm pretty close to being good for this episode anyway, I was going to wait to pick up the acid with the glass jar because I know that as soon as I do, a monster will probably appear and I didn't want to waste time having to hide from the monster because then I have to do that before the episode could end. Um, but monster beat me to the punch and I believe he's gone now because the music has disappeared I don't think he yeah I don't think he saw me maybe they only make that noise when they see you or something like that but he didn't even come into the room or if he did he didn't even go far enough to go past that crack in the boxes that I was usually looking through so I for that reason mostly I'm assuming he didn't see me because if he had saw me surely he would have come into the room and and tried looking around for me. Very poorly, in fact. But, whatever. Anyway, as I said, I'm still gonna wait until the next episode to do that, just in case something happens. I don't know, and I don't care. And we'll... We'll do it all next time. Let me just push that a little bit in more. So it's more neat-looking. Neat and tidy. It's very good. Very good, yes. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you continue to enjoy it. Until until later. Bye bye.